In this TradingView tutorial video, we're going to walk through how to paper trade using the platform. We'll cover how to set entry, stop loss, and target exit prices all within the TradingView platform. Stick around to learn more. Welcome back to Trade with Resolve. If you're new to the channel and interested in viewing live day trades, platform tutorials, or stock market training, then please consider subscribing to the channel for more. All right, so let's jump right in. So we are currently looking at a chart here on TradingView. And if we take a look at the bottom panel, we can expand this bottom panel to connect to the paper trading account. So let's go ahead and select paper trading and connect. All right, so we are now connected to our paper trading account. And we can go ahead and lower this panel. All right, so we are currently looking at MES, the micro e-mini S&P 500 futures. So first, let's discuss the trading settings. So we're gonna go ahead and right click on the chart and select settings. And then we're gonna head down to the trading tab. Now this is where you can customize your settings in regards to executing trades. And so one of the main items that I like to enable is instant orders placement so this is going to instantly place your orders without giving you a confirmation and so that is one item that i like to enable you can also show your positions orders executions etc now let's take a look at the buy sell panel if we enable this item we can now take a look at the buy sell panel and you can place trades directly from this panel. So now let's take a look at the right hand side here. We're going to head over to the order panel. And this is where you can place your trade. So let's say we would like to take a long position. For example, we're going to select buy and let's enter a market order. And the nice thing about this platform is before you execute your trade, you can go ahead and enter a take profit and a stop loss. And so what's neat about this platform is you can enter in a specific price or a specific dollar amount. So maybe I want to take profits at $25 and have a stop loss of $15, for example you can enter that in and the system will automatically calculate the price points so that you will meet your dollar profit and stop loss parameters. So we already selected buy. We're gonna use a market order and we're just gonna go with one contract. And so we can see here we're risking $15 to make $25 for example. And let's go ahead and enter into this position. All right, so we are now in the trade. And as you can see, we now have our entry, stop loss, and target exit price. You can also adjust your targets and stop losses to whichever value you wish. And then if we head over here to the dome, this is going to show you your P&L, and you also have a few other options where you can flatten your position, reverse your position and cancel all. We can see our target exit price is up here at 32.50 and then we have our stop loss at 18.50. And so that is how you can take a look at your trade plan utilizing the dome. So let's say we wanna go ahead and exit out of the position. I'm just going to move the take profit down And let's just see if we can get filled here. 
All right, so we are all out of that trade. All right, let's go with another example. So let's say we would like to enter into a trade. Maybe you prefer using the dome window here. So let's just go ahead and buy one contract here. At the top, this is where you can adjust your position size here. But we're just gonna go ahead and buy one contract here at market. And we are now in the trade. Now notice we didn't set a stop loss and target exit price. So let me show you how to go about protecting your position. You can right click your entry and select protect position. Now you can go ahead and enter in a take profit and a stop loss. So we're just gonna go with Let's say I'd like to take profit at $30, for example, and place a stop loss at $15. You can go ahead and select modify. And now we have our take profit or target exit price and our stop loss price here on the chart. Again, you can adjust your stop loss and your target exit prices. You'll also receive a notification when your orders have been modified as well on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and close out of this position. Just gonna move the take profit down. See if we can get filled here. We can see our target exit here on the dome is at 28.50. And let's move it down just a bit more. We're at 28 now. All right, we were just filled and we have the confirmation here on the left-hand side. We were executed at 27.28, so we sold one contract at 27.28. So now let's discuss the buy-sell panel. So you can place orders directly from this buy-sell panel as well. Here on the right hand side, you can adjust the position size. Let's just stick with one contract. And let's say we would like to sell a position. So let's go short, for example. So we are now short one contract here. Again, if you would like to protect the position, right click your order entry and select protect position. Or you can select close position to go ahead and exit out of the trade. So let's go ahead and select close position. And we are all out for a small loss there. Let's enter into another trade. So let's say I want to take a short position. Let's go ahead and sell one contract. We are now in the position. So maybe I realize, you know what, I think I'm wrong about this trade and I would like to reverse the position. So as you can see here at the top on the dome window, it shows that I am in short one position. And you know that you're on the short side because the position will be displayed in red. So that tells you that you are on the short side of the trade. So maybe I decide, you know what, you know, maybe I meant to buy instead of sell. Well, what you can do is you can go down here to the bottom of the dome and select reverse position. All right, so notice how our position is now green. That means we are now on the long side and expecting the price to continue higher. All right, so now let's discuss how to place a limit order. So you can head back over to the order panel and we're going to select buy, for example, and let's go ahead and determine a potential entry. I'm going to enter 27.25 for a limit order. 27.25, one contract. And let's go ahead and enter a take profit and stop loss. You can adjust the values here. So we are looking to buy one contract at 27.25 we've entered our take profit and stop loss values. 
So now let's go ahead and select buy. All right, so as you can see, we have a buy limit down here at 27.25. And so if the price comes back down to 27.25, our order will be executed. So notice how the take profit and the stop loss is faded. That is because our order has not been filled yet. We are looking for the price to come down to 27.25 so that we can be filled. Now, although our order hasn't been filled yet, you can still adjust your stop loss and your take profit if you wish. So again, when the take profit and stop loss values are faded out, that means that your order has not been filled. You can also verify that by heading over to the dome and you notice that the position is now showing as flat. So we are not currently in the position we're waiting for the price to come down to our entry at 27.25. Also, I should mention, if you would like to hide the buy sell panel, you can simply right click and select hide buy sell panel. All right, so let's say you would like to cancel your order. So notice how our buy limit order has not been filled. You can simply cancel the order by selecting the X. So let's go ahead and cancel the order. And notice how our order has been canceled, including the entry stop loss and target exit price. Lastly, I want to mention the information that you can view once you are in a trade. So let's say we want to go ahead and jump into a position for a short opportunity. I'm just going to select a market order and take a short position. Okay, so we are now in the trade with one contract here. So let's bring up this lower panel. So here at the bottom, you can see your positions. It's also going to show you your fill price, take profit price, and stop loss price. So here you can view your position. We currently have one open position. We are short at the moment with one contract. You can view your fill price, take profit price, and stop loss price, and of course your profit or loss. You can view your trading history, so you can select different categories such as all or field. So you can take a look at all of your field trades and your canceled orders as well. Next, we have the account summary. This is going to show you your account balance and your open profit or loss. And then we have the account history. So this is going to show you a quick overview of the last trades that you recently placed. So let's say we want to go ahead and exit out of the position. I'm going to move my take profit up, for example. Let's see if we can get filled. All right, we are now out of the trade. And we can see here that we made $10 on that trade by heading over to the account history tab. We now have zero positions at the moment. Whenever you're ready to exit out of the paper trading mode, you can select the arrow and log out. I should also mention that once you are ready to begin trading with a live account, these are the current brokers that are supported by the TradingView platform. So you can connect directly to your broker and trade directly through the TradingView platform. All right, so that is how you can go about placing trades using the TradingView platform. I hope you found value in this TradingView tutorial video. And if you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.